night we are heading in to the spot. It is New Year's Day 2019, first hunt. Uh, got a long drive tonight. I got about a three minute drive to the property I'm hunting. I'm heading over to a spot where uh, I've had a ton of acti deer activity on camera, but the last time I pulled the card was about a week and a half ago. Uh, it was very consistent in the evening. The last time I hunted there was when I pulled the card and um, I saw a good a good number of deer. I think I saw nine deer. They were all out of range though. Uh, I'm gonna hunt the same tree that I hunted the last time I hunted there. And I'm hoping that uh, they're coming through because that's right where my camera is. The deer on this property tend to take two or three different trails and the problem is they don't intersect at a spot that's good for the urban hunting aspect. See, I need to find a tree that I can hunt that when I shoot them, they have plenty of leeway to expire before they cross the property line. That's not something that a lot of people are used to having to factor in when they're picking a tree. So um, I got a great tree picked out. I'm gonna go climb it and hopefully we can get some, uh, some deer in range and put them down on camera for you guys start uh, 2019 off correctly so fingers crossed stay tuned let's hope uh, let's hope we put something down
spin on it and shoot them. Alright, stay tuned. Let's hope something goes down. some dogs barking back behind me which if you're on a normal hunt you'd be pissed about but when you're out in the suburbs that's a great thing to hear because normally the dogs are barking at deer and that'll push a deer into where you are normally although now they've stopped barking stay frosty hopefully they come through
ね。left of daylight. I'm going to sit tight. Hopefully some more deer come in. If not, we'll pack up, climb down, and go recover the one I shot already. Uh, regardless of what happens, we're not going home hungry. That's always good. quickly before I have to use my headlamp. Uh, I don't want to draw too much attention to the neighbors.
actually surprised how far this little guy made it. It's a yearling deer, but uh, shot was perfect. Deer still went 65, 70 yards. It's impressive. So, get him cleaned up, get him out of here. deer loaded up wasn't really able to show you guys much of that process just because that area I'm in hunting in is very small it's a little less than a half acre lot that I'm hunting on tonight and I'm surrounded by houses so when I have a deer down like that I have to be very careful with the amount of lighting that I use to find the deer and then drag it out because I'm trying to not draw attention to myself I'm trying to be as discreet as possible works fine for me it doesn't work very well for a camera light so um, you know I was able to show you guys a little bit of the blood trail because we got down early to avoid the the headlights uh, glaring or you know just headlight up being super bright white light everywhere um, but it doesn't work super well for the for the film but you know whatever so got it out got the deer dragged out it was a little button buck. Um, I knew it was a button buck when I shot him, but again, you know, I need to shoot every single thing possible that I have a, a reasonable and ethical shot on. So uh, we, we're just so overrun with deer here. We got to get them thinned out. That's what I'm doing. Um, and so as long as he didn't have any antlers exposed, which he didn't, that was a legal kill and um, was good to go. So. Got him in the truck, got a buddy of mine that, that needed a meat, uh, meat deer, so I sent him a text and he's gonna come over and pick it up and um, works out great. Got somebody wanting deer meat that gets fresh meat and uh, it's one less deer eating in the woods. So stay tuned, hit the subscribe button below, keep checking out all my hunts in the suburbs here and um, hopefully we keep whacking and stacking, rolling into 19. That's a pretty good start though for 2019. One for one. I wish I could keep it at 100%. So, all right, hit the subscribe button. Keep checking out the hunts. And if you have any questions or anything, uh, just hit me up on the bottom. I always respond to that stuff. If you want to know what gear I'm using, uh, anything, I'm happy to help. I um, obviously get to test a lot of this stuff pretty regularly, and I'm pretty anal about my stuff. So I'm more than happy to let you know what's working for me, what I've tried in the past that didn't work, uh, etc. So... If you got questions, hit me up. Otherwise, hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And uh, don't hesitate to comment below about anything that isn't anti-hunting related because I get enough of that already. All right, thanks, guys.